How's it going guys and welcome back for another Gudonia video. Today we're going to be exploring mods. Go into the mods on the right hand side of the screen and usually this is all blank. There's no testing or videos or anything like that. It's just all blank. Except for watch tutorials. So Kazakov Oleg uh, does some uh, tutorials. This is going to be a tutorial too. So either watch them or this one what you're watching now. Whatever helps you. We're going to go down here to the bottom right hand corner to new mod and we're going to make pretty much an effect, an ability, a new item, two new NPCs, a new dungeon and a new quest. So first off we'll name it modding tutorial and we're going to start off with a new effect. So you go to the new effect UI and here we go we can uh, name it. So we might go for a maybe a bit of a speed boost or something like that. Name it speedy. Uh, so down here we'll go. Back speed we'll put that right up. Movement speed can go to three. So you can really just customize what you want on it. So your health, mana, stamina, magic resistance, armor, duration of it. You can also go ticking for like health and mana restore or damage. So it's all sort of different. We can stack it. I think that would be a bit too overpowered if, if we did. There's going to be just an ongoing effect. Moving light, movable by clicking. Is it a stun? And so do you have invincibility when you use it? So we're just going to go with speedy. We're just going to go just basic sort of. All going to be good. Just more attack and movement speed. That's it. So we will change the icon to. It's Panther. There we go. So we'll make that one. We got Speedy. We will make another one just so I can show you. So we'll go with a bit of a healing one. So we'll go heal per tick. We'll go maybe 40 and two seconds. They so get 20 health a second, really. Go that. Maybe even boost up a bit of health too. Maybe go up by 100 or whatever. Uh, we'll change the icon. The bread. <laughs> You like just snacking on some bread. Pretty cool chance. We don't need anything there. Might go just to 20 seconds. That'll do. Uh, stackable, no. And I'm all happy with that. So we'll make heals as well. So we've got speedy and heals. All right. Now we can make a new item. Go into the new item UI. Going to name it Bonk. Going to be a weapon. Make that the icon. Make it a two-handed mace. You just gotta rename it again. Then we can choose our model. With the model, we can choose any model in the game. Not that's in the game. So any mace, sword, axe, uh, spear, staff, even bows. So you can just put whatever you want on it. A few uh, models that are missing. Make yeah, we'll just make it the staff-looking one. A few models that are missing for now. Now with the damage, make it like a sort of a mid-range sort of thing. We go 51 damage. Gives us a 10 health, maybe a 30. Stamina bonus. Armor bonus, no. Do that. That's all good. The model. All right, so these two, how they say no effect, you can click on them and we can actually add the um, effects that we have. So... Chance to apply effect, we can go maybe 10% with heals, maybe 15 with speedy, 15% chance that'll proc, 10% chance that'll proc when you're using it. Critical chance, you can just, yeah, whatever. Change it, change it how you like it, it's all good. Yeah, you can just put all your knockback power, blood magic, any bonuses or anything like that you can just do. Last but not least, you gotta put in the description. That'll be our description. You get the bonk. That's pretty basic, just making that and adding your effects into that. So you can really customize it how you want, really. But moving on. So we've got two effects, one item. Now onto a new ability. We've got primary and secondary. With primary. You've either got melee, projectile, arrow shot, channeling, companion spawn, area effect, buff or debuff. Secondaries, just buff and debuff. 
you can pick one of these primary ones and that'll be your sort of your main new ability but you can also add a secondary onto it so i'm gonna go with I might go with a projectile so here's the new ability ui and you want to keep it in the green where it says balanced so we can pick our type we'll go small rock call it yoni chuck in yonis we might go with a might do nature damage say nature damage yeah we'll go oh we'll go with melee scaling so that's what it can be you can just do sort of anything here uh that's your fire type one after the other in a line or fractions we'll just go for one after the other basic damage we'll go maybe 40 damage and this is where it get, gets interesting so this is all the strong makes it stronger and everything like that and down here just makes it all weaker go projectile speed and you can see the little bar down the bottom is going up when i keep moving it go projectile speed of five how many projectiles do we have if we have one it's going to be way too strong that's because we have no mana assigned to it so we can assign it with mana stamina it can damage our health too or we can put a put a bit of a cooldown. Maybe try and get like maybe three seconds, and with a bit of a casting time, might go one second casting time. So now it's really weak. We can actually like up that up a little bit, too much. So it is saying that we uh, it is way too strong still. So we can just put it to say ninety seven. It's going to do a Bit of damage we can add one of our effects that we've already made to it so we can add speedy or heals to it as well you can also add a secondary we haven't done that yet we'll do that now we can apply we'll have yoni there if we go back to our abil new ability ui we can go to debuff the icon on and we'll go with the carry here we're going to have we can have speedy or heals onto it so we're going to go heals so this is sort of like an effect really it's going to be around the player we can just do different effects like this so we're going to go with that requirements pretty good go radius maybe 0.5 just so we can get a bit of heal try to make that just balance so just remember it's near around the a and the n i'm going to name it it burns so do that and then if we go back to yoni add the secondary it burns so that'll do that too you can even add speedy there if we really want but we're not going to now that we've got the abilities out of the way time to move on to our npcs so first up here yeah, we can name them make a villager or ghost or skeleton so they're all your sort of go to so we might make a Make a skelly. Right. Uh another being rags. Hunter, knight. We're just gonna keep him like that. His name's Greg. He's gonna be neutral. Here's all of the um all, uh, factions that he can join. So he can be enemies or we're just gonna keep him at neutral for now. We'll give him a bit of health. So he's gonna be level zero anyway. Um he's gonna have some dialogue for us. So we're gonna add new. Uh we're gonna go with that and that and say, hey, what's going on? He'll say, need it back. So we can add two new ones. From the top one, in this box here, we can either add one or two. And what that does, if you click on whatever's here, it'll go on to the next either one or two dialogue chains. So we're just going to go with one. So this is going to be how it goes. We'll go, hey, what's going on? He'll say, I need it back. He'll be like, well, what the hell's going on? We say, huh? I get back my fish. So, okay, okay. And then you say fish. So whenever you want to close the dialogue, you click on that. So no more boxes to turn up. We've got to add a two there too. Uh, put them on. And that's all good there. So w when you go into uh, activate trigger, so you, you want to go in dialogue and make sure dialogue zero is on. 
and then that means this will trigger when that's been clicked on and the same down here you can go yep yep and then one and then yeah that should all work uh, we're going to do a quest with him a bit later so we'll come back to the activation trigger that's pretty much how you make like a speaking npc really now we want to make another one we'll make uh make this dude make him bobby bear he can be our enemy so he'll have that that much health we'll make him a fighter and it, down here is so this will just change everything so down here we've got non-armored npc we can make him have a simple be a simple fighter or whatever two-handed archer mage but this will just change everything you can be a brawler just depends on like what how they fight or even wild that's pretty scary hey we'll, we'll make him wild and then here's where all the attacks come in so you can do that one bit of a lunge bit of a fury swipe and i don't think that has a third option so you, you can chop and change what you want in there make him yeah we'll make him really big <laughs> probably not smart but anyway now he's gonna do a bit of damage to us uh his weapon his sword be anything really daggers i don't think he's really gonna fighting us with anything yeah, well, we'll give him a spear, hey? Uh, and then he's also got... So you can just set his armor and everything like that to whatever, whatever you want. And we've got projectile, so he can actually do any of these. Pick what you want. We might just go maybe one. Golden lightning, just go pick. So that's selected. And then his abilities, you can do area attacks or anything like that. So we might go... Uh, an acid explosion so he'll do he'll sh he should shoot projectiles and do that ability so that's pretty much how you just make a attacking npc really it's a lot easier making like a fighting npc or an enemy than like a dialogue npc okay so moving on to quests So here in the quest UI, uh, we can name it. So we've got bad boy Bobby. Our description will be Gal made his fish back. So for our trigger, we're going to go dialogue. And we've got Greg. So we're going to go with two. And we're going to click on Greg. So he's going to give us our quest. You want to go reward. Give us one gold. It might bug out. Go a new objective. So dialogue. Greg's number two, yes. Completed will be Death of Bobby Bear. Take our Bob. Then we can go a new objective. The take trigger will be Death of the NPC. The new one will be Say we gotta loot the fish item. Uh tunable, uh we'll go go the tuna. Okay. We'll make it that quest so that's the complete trigger and we'll do that again so get the two night done but that'll be our quest is to get that fish back apply it done next up we want to make a new dungeon what we can do is go new dungeon this will be the ui for it so you can pick sort of what layout you want really so labyrinth is just like heaps of like hallways and stuff three's pretty like it'll have three dead ends arena's just got that arena gym sort of thing you might go and you've got like castle dungeon the Volfla, the desert arcane caves and stuff like that so you got you got a few different options so they're pretty cool um we might just go with arena just for now because it's not going to be big but if you want to deck all this out just yeah it gets pretty crazy but what we want to do so we're gonna click on align to the ground i've got our npcs here that's just 
all of the um, say skeleton slave we can put a three of them there they're all right you can click on them and add items that they drop so they can drop two gold um I, I won't pick a tuna because otherwise it's the mission eggs and like the holy smasher like you can just put whatever you want there they can be respawnable you can do whatever so this is all your sort of like building stuff like you can put down tents ruins stuff like that wooden stairs and crates stuff like that usable these are the interesting ones that you need so i'm just going to go with castle entrance small i'm just going to put it just here put it just there i'm going to use that a bit later that's going to be our exit you can change the material or whatever you want so make it your own we will actually put a dungeon chest put it put it just here that's gonna we're gonna add our tuna to it so put that in there that's the quest item that we got to grab we can also add bonk and yoni item didn't change the icon for the only item would be our spell or our ability i'll put uh, your npcs down so we can put one down there and you just click on it and select bobby bear so he's done there you can also like make different seeds oh better name our dungeon hey bobby's pad so we'll do that just for now it'll be all good and hit return and then what we want to do is place on map. And we might just go here. So just next to the town of Weistane. I'm going to use castle entrance small again. Make it aligned to the ground. Go about there. I click on it. We can select Bobby's pad just there. So that'll get it, give us entrance there. So it's pretty much your gateways to your dungeons. So as long as you put a castle or castle entrance or whatever, you can get in and out. Next up, you want your NPCs. Put right there. Then we can go over to Greg. Greg's there. We're all happy. Greg and Bobby's pad. All done. So there's nothing left but test it. So let's go test it. And who do we have helping us today? No other than the one, the only, the Casanova Con Man. All right, Connie, let's uh, talk to old Greg here. So you can see this is on the overworld now. Talk to Greg. Hey, what's going on? What, what do you need back? Get my fish back. All right, oh. Fish. All right, now we can head in here. Oh, and then we can get attacked by all these skellies. Take them out. They're easy level ones. We can loot them all. We got two gold. We got the eggs. And we also got the holy smasher. They're the items that we put into them. There he is. There's Bobby. All right, Bobby. Try and take you out. So here's his AoE move. We're going to play the loot a bit more. Try and get a bit more damage up. And he should also have a projectile. Yep, there it is. So yeah, it's pretty basic, I suppose. It can be a little bit confusing trying to figure out how the hell to do all this, but yeah, I thought this would be like a pretty good introduction to everything, just in one, oop, one sort of video. Yeah, we just got Bobby. I should have picked bloody better character than old con man not that strong by himself by the companions he'd be he'd be down quick smart yeah there we go so we've taken him out been poisoned a bit so he's gone and then we can go over here click the chest now we have the tuna got bonk got a yoni item 
So take all of them. Must have added two tuners of that or something. So with that, we have our, our Yoni item we put there. Got bonk. We can't really use it. We are uh, with a con man. So here's our ability. So Yoni item will be your ability and you can just put it on your item slots. And you can't put them on any of your actual other slots. So it's just like an extra extra ability on your on your hotbar. Really, so get a bit of healing and shoot him and everything like that, so it's pretty cool. I thought since we couldn't use Bonk with Iron Man, we might as well use Jack. You get the Bonk, the two-handed mace. As you can see, it just works as a two-handed mace. Same moveset. Go Bonk, 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 Bonk. And like true fashion, the con man going to say, what fish? There was no fish there, Greg. What are you talking about? Senile. What are you doing? Gosh. Not even alive, mate. All right, that'll do it for this little modding tutorial guide. I hope this helped you out. Like this is taking me a, this is taking me a long time to get around to. I did watch Kazakov Oleg's uh, tutorials. But there's so much other stuff that you can sort of play around with as well, which I did the other day. I just played around with it to, to almost its fullest. I just got to get this dialogue right. And yeah, I ho hopefully this is a good start for you guys and trying to mod more and encourage you to go out and do a few mods and stuff like that for Gadonia. Because I, I sort of want to do a bit of a showcase, cool mods to everyone. But I don't want to spoil them too. So I've got to go around and a few and sort of edit out the spoilers and stuff like that but anyway guys that'll do it from me i hope this guide helped you out and if there's anything that i missed or if you guys know about npc dialogues or anything that i've sort of stuffed up in this video please let me know down in the comments much appreciated i just want to figure this out and let everyone else know so everyone can do a good job anyway guys that's it for me like always, guys, have fun out there in Gadonia and take care. Crash. <laughs>